Hello Navigator, right now I am in a CCR of a chemical tanker. This video might be helpful for those who are uh, trying to join in a chemical tanker as a cadet uh, for their familiarization what are the available uh, equipment and uh, controls in CCR. So CCR is actually cargo control room. So let's explore a CCR of a chemical tanker. So as this is cargo control room, this this vessel has framo system of cargo pump all the all the pumps control are here these are cargo cargo pump basically the sequence is one wing here two wing three wing four wing five wing six wing seven wing eight wing nine wing and ten wing there are 10 port is towered up to that means 20 pump control are for 20 tanks and there are more slope port slope is board, which is used for you know this as per NX regulation and this is also a this is also tanks but these are comparatively small tanks and this pump for ballast this pump also for ballast so in this vessel we, we find 10 wing tanks slope wing tank so if I if I try to familiarize with uh, this famo system a little there is one pump that never to be stopped that is called jockey pump other way called feed pump and this is running number number two this one this hydraulic pump is running for the system system to be worked out always these lines are with positive pressure so that nothing goes inside the line and there is from a cargo pump guidelines if you are interested please read all and this ends basically remain inside the tank and it goes up to the tank top so this is the tank top this is called suction well very commonly known as bell mouth this is a cross-sectional view have a look there are basic guidelines also how you do stripping how you do cargo heating, end of discharge, what to do and what to do with while loading, what to do while loading, while purging, check before we start system operation. So all the details are here. Basic guidelines. Pump start during discharge, pumping in parallel. That's it. In every CCR you will find vessel specific tank, tank details so these are, these are the tank sounding board as I told you here are 10 wing tanks and slope tanks including water ballast tank details fresh water tanks usually for tank cleaning This is for engineers, uh, this is for engine room, diesel oil tanks, lubricating oil tanks, cooling water tanks and others. You must have heard about ODME that is oil discharge monitoring equipment. This is the ODME control box. Some instructions below. This control is for nitrogen panel and this is very important for chemical tanker to maintain inerted condition or to inert a tank or to padding with inert padding with nitrogen or to use for stripping. 
so for chemical tanker nitrogen is very important and here is the control here is the control for communication with the terminal there is one VHF and this is inclinometer to check list port and starboard and this is wind indicator to understand the prevailing wind pressure and this is important because uh, for certain wind pressure we got to stop the operation as per the agreement with the terminal so now I am going to show you the control of deck from where all the valves are controlled including manifold valves and tank valves you might have different station but on board this vessel they have cons bar system this is the company name Kongsberg. So here let me describe a little. If I go here the main home you can see all tank details like each tank how much allage is there which is the cargo that is number first one number one cot port that is meg cargo was there and now only 1.6 meter cube that means this tank is empty and the allage is 18.042 meter and the other tank two port is mtbe cargo and 2469.4 is the total uh, capacity of this tank and right now it is having 1551.9 meter cube and the allage is 7.196 meter so this is how all tank details you can check from here so you if you got to open a manifold valve you have to go here go to cargo and then cargo tank overview we are here cargo manifold so now we are seeing the cargo manifold condition these are all manifold valves one port is starboard inside even you can see the pressure minus 0.0 minus 0 0.05 bar like this all the controls are here you can open any one you want just you have to click here to open and follow the instruction to open this is actually very simple in chemical tanker it is easy to operate because all the pumps are segregated and tank is specific so there is very less chances to mix up and also you can see engine controls from here this is the main engine this Kongsberg's display can use for all actually to see the tank valves you have to go here and select for tanks tank valve that means cargo tank piping so this is the tank piping this is uh, ditchers valve this is ditchers valve so this is we can see now one port one port cot that means one port cargo oil pump so this one you can control from here that's it this pad also helps you to access quickly there is communication system within the within the vessel this is also important tank overfill alarm and high level alarm so high many of us known as this is high high level alarm and this is high level alarm high level alarm for 95 percent and high high level alarm that is tank overfill alarm is for 98 percent let's say if a uh, two port alarm comes then it will blink here as well so that you understand and you can take action accordingly this is the overview of a ccr that means cargo control room and this is a radar level gazing all the tanks in chemical tanker you will find with level gauge and these are the level gauge 
control box this is for IZ inert gas system panel and let me introduce with you this is the lodicator facially specific and of course approved by the administration this lodicator helps chief officer to calculate everything regarding cargo system including the damage stability these are pocket gas meter which is very commonly used in chemical tanker so that's all for today and if you want to see anything regarding chemical tanker vessel please let me know in the comment box thank you so much for watching